Are you tired of checking every catalyst description table every time you want to run a vault? Well then, do we have the tutorial for you! Introducing the ultimate lazy catalyst machine! You start by simply putting the vault crystal into the center, placing all of your catalyze into some sort of storage, you flick a lever, and then you start a timer. Then automatically, all your old catalyze gets sent out, and the new one gets sent in, and you don't have to do anything. You can sit back and enjoy your cup of tea. And whenever you find a catalyze you want, ooh, look, fragile. Just grab it out of the system, turn off the timer, and you're ready to go. All the catalyze gets stored in the back, and flick up the lever to send them back to the front. Then, after you go ahead and add the catalyze you want to your crystal, you can go ahead and start the process again. Always make sure you flick down the lever before you turn on the timer. Then you repeat this process until you have everything you want to add. Look, raging! So now it's time for the simple tutorial. First, find an area, build a 2x2 two two out of quartz, go out one in each direction, and up one so it's a 2x2, two with two blocks going up. Now place the catalyst description table right on the corner here. Next, feed a hopper into the side of the catalyst description table. Then put some sort of storage. I'd recommend a netherite barrel if you have the barrels mod unlocked. If not, maybe just a chest or some sort of storage. Next, coming out of the back of the catalyst description table, you're gonna place the logistical sorter from mechanism or some sort of item filter mod. The next thing you're going to want to do is pretty important. Right click to open up the menu of the logistical sorter, switch single mode to on, and then create a new filter. Click item stack, place a vault catalyst in there, switch fuzzy mode to on, and click save. The reason we have to do this is because if not, it will actually suck out the vault crystal if we don't have a filter set for catalyze. Now the last thing you want to do is set redstone mode to normal because we need it to be able to be toggled on and off with redstone. Next thing we need is to put some sort of storage behind it. I'm going to use another netherite barrel and then I'll have a hopper pointing underneath it. Now it doesn't matter which direction it's pointing as long as it's sucking from the barrel. Next you're going to use some sort of item pipe. I'm using the logistical transporter from mechanism and you're going to connect this bottom hopper here up to the netherite chest at the top. Next you're you're going to want to use a configurator or something to detach the link right here. You don't want this barrel attaching to the pipe, you want it attaching to the hopper. Next thing you do is put down three redstone dust like so. And next you want to put down a glass interval signal timer from the gauges and switches mod. Place that bad boy right here. Next you need to place a block next to that hopper in the back, redstone dust, and a block on top. And then put a lever on it in the front like so. Remember, this is the lever you're going to flick up in order to send the catalyze back to the front. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. Right click this redstone dust so it looks like a little circle. Now the last thing we need to do is important. We have to set the timing of this timer. So what you need to do is hold shift and right click the little blue up arrow there in the corner. And that's going to keep right clicking it until the on time is 5 seconds. Do the same thing with the yellow arrow, that's the off time. Just keep shift right clicking that arrow until you hit off for 5 seconds. Boom. That's going to cause this timer to go off and on every 5 seconds. Which is the timing that we need for this catalyze to run properly. Now all you gotta do is fill up your description table with catalyze and this netherite barrel and you're ready to go. Make sure the switch is in the down position and shift right click the center of the timer and it will start the timer. If you guys like Vault Hunters, be sure to check out my Vault Hunter series. Thanks for watching the tutorial. CWG out.